Well, the current social media beauty trends are fox eye, mm -hmm. the Kardashian look, Russian lips, jawline, cheek and chin filler, uh, facial contouring, nose jobs, lasers, Booties. you know, things <laughs> along those lines. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about women that are driven uh, to do those things? I don't shame or blame anybody for what they do in the name of beauty, in the name of just feeling like themselves. But what I do know is that we all grow up and grow older in a world that convinces us that we are parts in need of fixing. We grow up believing that we are bodies first and people second, and that in order to not be bullied, in order to feel okay, in order to be successful, to connect with other people, we must look at our body as a compilation of parts in need of fixing. And we're here to tell the world that there is another way. And while I would never shame or blame you, I also want you and I would want anybody else that is, is considering needing to get stuff done just to feel like themselves, to know that you can be whole in your body as it is. Because Lindsay and I believe that we are diagnosing the wrong problem. We believe that women don't feel beautiful enough and so we try to feel more beautiful. We try to fix ourselves to feel more beautiful. When Lindsay and I believe the real problem, the root of the problem, is that we are defined by beauty. It's not that we're, be it's not, that we're not beautiful enough, it's that we are so defined by it that we, be we become truly confined by that beauty. Yeah, Dr. Lindsay, let me, let me ask you this. I, I think I've often said that psychologically, body image and self-image tend to vary together. They should not. Yes. You're not a better person if you weigh less or a worse person if you weigh more. Um, but for some reason, we know historically, empirically, that body image and self-image vary together, although it, it shouldn't. And right. you think that's part of the problem with, yes. with women being defined in the wrong, with the, with the wrong yardstick. Yeah. It absolutely is. In our research, we found that when people described their bodies, they overwhelmingly described how they looked, not how they felt, what they could do, what they had experienced. And this is women primarily. When women are defined by their bodies, then their whole self-worth becomes overtaken by whether or not they feel beautiful. I saw a study one time that said men would 70-something percent of men would rather have a body part amputated than be bald. Oh, wow. Uh, so wow. it's it's appearance for them too, <laughs> Shelly, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and yet look at you proving to the world that you yeah. can be successful and happy and confident without hair. Yeah, they ain't, cutting, they ain't <laughs> cutting a damn thing off of me. I would like to add that for women in general though, we've had issues of body dysmorphia we've developed since since we were young. Right now all of us are sitting here and our businesses in a way even though we're making people happy, we're profiting off of insecurities of everyone's social media. Because you guys are against it, and maybe we're saying social media is good, but still, conclusion is, all four of us are sitting here making money off of people's insecurities, yeah. whether you want to admit it or not. Take it, I'll take it a step further. It's, this conversation is, is so exemplary of, of the actual problem. When it was just celebrities, we had Celebrity Envy and we had beauty magazines and they were airbrushed before they were Photoshopped. Mm -hmm. But now, every person you know, in your whole circle of friends, in your sphere of influence, is able to do this yeah. in a way that only Celebrity Magazines could and the tabloids could before. Yeah. So we have body dysmorphia, but now it's amplified because it's everyone you know. And so if you were a little insecure before, now you don't know who's real, who's fake. Do I need to do that? Everyone around me looks more beautiful than I am. It's the amplification of social media that has caused this conversation. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.